I recently got a question on my Adobe Fresco video asking, is there a way to make the brush not taper? I want to have the brush that is consistent all the time. And the answer to this is yes. So in this video, I'm going to run through very quickly how you can make any brush in Adobe Fresco, whether it's vector or whether it is a pixel brush, not taper. I realize there is some recent stink about Adobe and some of their AI features that are turning a lot of people off from their products. I made a very quick video in less than one minute that you can watch here. So if you're still interested in using Adobe products, but you don't want to have these AI features turned on, there is a way that you can still use their products without participating in essentially them robbing you of your art to train their AI model. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, so what we're first going to do is go into our pixel brush and we're going to select the hard round brush. As I'm making strokes here, as I'm lightening the screen and pressing harder, you'll notice that I do get a bit of a taper. There's a very easy way to turn this off. So for demonstration purposes, let me make this smaller so you can kind of see here the difference. And uh, let's just do the letter A. So you can kind of see the tapering in here and in here. Want to make these adjustments, we go down here and click into our brush settings. And you want to go into shape dynamics. And then under this control button, you want to change this. So this gives you a ton of options. And again, you can play around with these to see how specifically you want your brushes. But assuming that you want a no taper at all, you change your control to none and then go back to your canvas. And you can see that as I'm zigging and zagging, I'm lightening my pressure. It's not changing anything. So if I were to select this, for example, and make this a little bit smaller and move that over here and then give you guys the example of the letter A again, it's gonna be solid throughout. Be sure to screenshot this and stay tuned as the settings for vector brushes is different than pixel brushes. Now, if we were to show you this in the vector brush, let's say that we're in the vector brush, we're in the basic and we're in the round brush. So you'll notice in my vector brush, if I do the same sort of wiggle, I am still getting some taper. Let's do a letter A with lighter pressure, more pressure at the bottom. You can still see that I'm getting some taper. So in order to adjust this, you wanna turn your pressure dynamics and your velocity dynamics off. So for example, if I'm changing my pressure that I'm putting on the screen, which I am, you just can't see that, it's the same line throughout. Kind of show that again here, let's shrink this. If I were to do the letter A, I'm getting the same consistent A all the way through. It doesn't matter how hard I'm pressing or how light I'm pressing. I hope this video helped you get your brush size consistent throughout, whether you're using a pixel brush or a vector brush in Adobe Fresco. If you're interested in learning all about the different tools in Adobe Fresco, I have an hour long video. Grab yourself a coffee, grab a tea. You can go through every single tool in Adobe Fresco to get you started. Happy creating and I'll see you guys next week.